According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. So if you haven't, and at the end of the video you enjoy what you see, do consider subscribing. It would help a lot with YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content. Thanks for being here. Hey there, Psych2Goers, welcome to the channel. What are some things that you're afraid of? Or things or situations that make you uncomfortable? Having fears and dislikes is a normal part of life. But what happens when these things completely take over? Enter phobia. Anyone can have things they fear, even our beloved wizards, but more on that later. A phobia is something that takes a fear and intensifies it, so intense that it makes it hard to live a normal life. Any exposure to its triggers invokes an intense anxiety response, including symptoms like difficulty breathing, fainting, and lightheadedness. You might end up fleeing from the situation. With that said, here are nine common phobias. Number one, hemophobia, the fear of blood. Do you feel a bit squeamish around blood? While this much is normal, for others, it goes up a notch. Ever heard of people fainting at the very sight of blood? Blood is something we associate to be inside of us and can be quite unsettling when it's visible outside. As phobias are intense and disruptive fears, people with hemophobia may find themselves experiencing severe anxiety symptoms when they are in situations where blood may be present. In some cases, this phobia can be so severe that it prevents people from taking care of themselves. People with this phobia may avoid medical professionals and getting important tests done, which can lead to problems later on. Number two, trypanophobia, the fear of needles. Needles are never fun for anyone. People with this specific phobia have intense reactions to the sight of needles, let alone having contact with them. This is especially hard in medical contexts where needles are necessary for diagnosing and treating conditions. Trypanophobia is commonly seen in children, but is usually outgrown later on. However, for some, the phobia is lifelong and will require intervention. Number three, thanatophobia, the fear of death. While having some kind of fear of death is normal, Having thanatophobia makes it extremely difficult to live a functioning life as preventing death takes priority. People with the condition will go to great lengths to avoid dying, far beyond what is generally accepted. With thanatophobia, people will find themselves unable to leave their house or partake in routine activities due to irrational fear that something may happen to them. Number four, athazagoraphobia, the fear of forgetting or being forgotten. Ever given thought to how remembering works? The idea that the people around you will forget who you are can be quite unsettling. Similarly, the thought that you may forget people and events in your life is also scary. With athazagoraphobia, these fears are amplified. Older people or those with a family history of Alzheimer's, dementia, or similar memory loss related conditions may experience this phobia. They may go to great lengths to prevent it from happening by taking memory enhancing supplements or by activities to prevent memory loss. Number five, emetophobia, the fear of vomiting. The experience of throwing up is never pretty, right? Emetophobia is usually caused by some kind of traumatic experience related to vomiting and can be related to either the discomfort or embarrassment of the act. From there, it picks up in intensity. People with this specific phobia may find themselves constantly checking the quality of their food, avoiding eating at unfamiliar places, anything to avoid vomiting. Even in situations where it is necessary, the step to avoid the fear can make the phobia stronger, making it extremely difficult to live a normal life. Number six, claustrophobia, the fear of tight spaces. Have you heard others throw this word around at random? It's important to understand that it can be a severe situation and should be treated as such. The term claustrophobia tends to be overused in situations where people find tight spaces to be uncomfortable. Claustrophobia is much more severe than a dislike and is a phobia that severely impairs a person's life. People with the phobia may go to lengths to avoid tight spaces at any costs. Medical procedures like MRI scans can be completely horrifying, causing people with the condition to skip their appointments. Similarly, some people will even find it difficult to sit in a car with the windows up due to the tightness of the space. Number seven, arachnophobia, the fear of spiders. Follow the spiders. Were you in agreement with Ron Weasley when he said, why does it always have to be the spiders? Spiders are not always the most welcome creatures. 
Their gangly legs and plump bodies can surprise anyone when they show up in unexpected places. However, most people understand that they likely have spiders in their homes and that they serve a purpose. Others, however, cannot fathom living in a place where there might be a spider lurking around. For some, just merely thinking about spiders can be enough to trigger a response, like when you know there's an Aragog somewhere in the forbidden forest. <sighs> Poor Ron. Number eight, autophobia, the fear of being alone. Do you like spending time by yourself? For many people, loneliness is an uncomfortable feeling. Normally, everyone likes to have other people in life to share experiences with. However, for some, the idea of being alone is terrifying. People with this phobia will actively seek out others and will feel immense emotional distress if they are left by themselves. This can occur even in situations where having other people is unreasonable. And number nine, agoraphobia, the fear of inescapable situations. Home is where the heart is, right? But sometimes the very idea of leaving can cause an immense amount of stress. Agoraphobia is most commonly associated with those afraid to leave the house, but is actually much more complex than that. There are many different situations that a person is exposed to outside that are uncontrollable. People with this phobia may find themselves avoiding situations such as public transportation, going into places alone, or large open spaces with lots of people. The uncertainty and alienness of the situation can feel overwhelming. This makes living a normal life quite challenging. When fears actively make it difficult to live and maintain a functional life, that's when they have morphed into a phobia. These conditions generally require treatment to get better. There is no shame in fearing what others are really bothered about. It's not wise to deny yourself living a fulfilling life just to prevent others from labeling you. So if you are struggling, please don't hesitate to reach out to a mental health professional for advice. Getting in touch with the right person is a great first step to overcoming your fears. What are some more common phobias that are not on this list? Are there any that surprised you? What are some ways you cope with your own fears? Leave a comment down below about your encounters with them if you'd like. Please feel free to share any thoughts you have as well. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there battling their phobias. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. And as always, thanks for watching.